This base survived 12 years on the oldest Anarchy server in Minecraft, taking the record of the longest surviving base in the server's history. It's so old that no one even knows the original name of this place. Just looking at it is nostalgic, but how it survived so long is actually quite interesting. After being abandoned by its original owner, it was eventually found by more and more explorers. It became crucial to hide the existence of this place in order to protect it, but rising tensions, different approaches to preserving the history, and players adding their own additions caused some problems, which potentially led to the eventual downfall of this base. Today we'll cover the entire history of what players have nicknamed the Invisible Castle, the longest surviving base in 2B2T history. We'll uncover its origins, the attempts at preservation, and investigate the conflicts that would eventually cause this base's destruction. Now, today's video was brought to you by Cash App, the easiest way to send, spend, save, and invest. Cash App helps you connect effortlessly with your finances and with your people, and that's money. So in the spirit of things that are money, here's how I stay connected with my people. When I'm getting ready to play Minecraft with friends, Cash App makes it easy for me to get the snacks that I need for those long gaming sessions. Whether I'm streaming, putting in a hard session in the gym, or out exploring the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft gathering materials, Cash App helps me get materials in real life. Whether you're sharing a perfect day with friends, or sending, spending, saving, investing, splitting, tipping, donating, and gifting with the number one finance app in the App Store, that's money. And that's Cash App. Download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today to create your own cash tag. And thanks again to Cash App for sponsoring today's video. So how did this place manage to survive when so many other bases fell? Well, it all started 12 years ago. In 2011, when the server was only a few months old, escaping spawn was still a new player's first priority. An unknown explorer traveled out over a hundred thousand blocks in the overworld to try and find some peace and quiet. In those days, 100k was considered a massive distance and usually pretty safe. Many of the bases built in this era were even closer to spawn, but still managed to stay standing for quite some time. Now, when the explorer arrived in this pristine wilderness, they began to create a castle very much in the classic Minecraft building style, very heavy on cobblestone and wooden planks. You had the throne room with a classic minecart seat, you had a watchtower and ramparts, a barracks, even a large church with altar and chandeliers. Underneath the castle was a secret chest room and an underground subway system. It's like looking through a window into the past, the simple build style, the lack of block variety, it's incredibly nostalgic to look at something from a time in which Minecraft was far more simple. Now this is where things get interesting. We still don't know who this early explorer was. However, they did leave behind some clues about their identity. There is a written sign at the base that reads Produ Fini, which is a French phrase for final product. This implies that the original builder could have been from France, but since it's the only written sign at the base, it should be taken with a grain of salt. Not far from the castle was a large pit, almost completely mined out. This meant the builder took the stone directly from the ground instead of relying on something like a cobblestone generator. So it's possible this early explorer was more of a casual player instead of a hardcore one, especially in this time period. By analyzing the surrounding terrain, we actually know exactly when the base was built. By running 2B2T's original world seed through multiple beta versions of Minecraft, and by looking at things such as ore distribution and surface features, the terrain was generated in beta version 1.6.6, which was only available for roughly a single month, June of 2011. But at some point after this, the builder likely stopped playing, and the castle was abandoned. Now from 2011 through 2020, a nine-year period, the base remained mostly untouched. 
Almost every other base from this era had already been documented and destroyed, so its continued survival became even more impressive. There's evidence that the castle still received the occasional explorer since more modern chunk borders could be found not far from the base, but it seems none of these explorers bothered to leave a sign, that is, until it was found by one of the most dedicated base hunters in the server's history, Courier 6. If you're not familiar with him, he's been responsible for archiving many historic places on the server before they could be destroyed by griefers, such as Pop Bob's secret end portal, the remnants of the server's most illegal stash, and the list goes on. He spent years following chunk trails and uncovering mysteries in his spare time. But in his travels, he stumbled upon the pristine castle and was shocked by what he saw. This was indeed an untouched build from 2011 which was shocking considering how close to spawn it actually was. As he looked around the area and went through the chests, he discovered the presence of alpha slabs, wooden slabs with a missing texture icon, meaning they had been created before August 1st, 2012. The castle was legitimate, and so he took a world download of the entire area as soon as possible. He would send it to some of his trusted contacts for preservation purposes, but it wouldn't be long before word got out and the castle began attracting more visitors. These visitors would eventually give it the nickname of Invisible Castle because it had survived so long despite being somewhat close to the spawn region. It was practically invisible. Every visitor to the castle vowed to keep it a secret, but they all had different ideas of how to preserve its history. A few years back, a different base called the Monastery had been destroyed by griefers, despite being hidden for many years. It actually was one of the previous record holders for longest surviving base, but the Monastery was famous for having players add new sections to the base despite it being so old. So taking inspiration, some players began adding their own creations near the Invisible Castle, including large obsidian builds, a statue of Jesus, a giant maze, and the list goes on. The castle was becoming a full-on tourist attraction. The original old-school feel of the base was quickly lost for the more modern look of these structures. These visitors felt that their creations were reviving the base in a way, but not everyone shared this sentiment, especially an archivist with a simple name, Chicken. He believed that the base should be preserved as close to the 2011 original as possible and was not happy to see what it had become. So he took it upon himself to fix it. He single-handedly began removing every build and block that wasn't original. This included removing over 30,000 blocks of obsidian from some of the massive structures. He spent weeks taking down everything by hand without anyone noticing. In a weird way, he was essentially griefing a base in order to restore it to its former glory, which is a humorous situation. After about a month of non-stop work, the base had been almost completely restored to its original condition. You would have no idea that there had been dozens of other structures there previously. In his eyes, it was mission complete. By early 2023, the base had entered its 12th year of existence, However, tensions began to rise. Players that had built structures at the base found out about the removals, and reactions ranged from indifferent to angry. The place had become a ticking time bomb. Destruction was not a matter of if, but when. An archivist named C.A.J. had been living at the base for a while to keep an eye on it. Well, he logged in on March 13th, 2023, and discovered that the base had been blown to smithereens. It had survived 12 years, just 100,000 blocks away from spawn, an incredible record, but news of the destruction quickly spread, and there was a new mystery. Who had actually griefed it? The base had received so many visitors over a 12-year period that finding out who did it would be quite difficult. Players began pointing fingers at each other, but there was no way to know for sure who had actually done it, especially since no signs were left by the culprit. 
This castle had claimed the record of longest surviving base in Tubi Tutti history. But the record is a funny thing. In order to receive it, a base essentially has to get griefed and revealed to the public, so there's a good chance even older bases could still be out there. But how appropriate that an unknown builder created this place and an unknown griefer had destroyed it. Sometimes the mystery is more intriguing than the reality. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and follow my socials. Take it easy, FitFam, and stay alive out there.